some of my earliest memories are of paintings and I have no memory of ever wanting to do anything else other than paint. And for me, it's something that is vocational, you know, it's something that I have to do. I paint almost every day and it's, it's an emotional experience for me. I wouldn't even describe it as a job because it's just a way of being. It's something which is, can be frustrating and something which doesn't often give you a lot of happiness, but when it does bring you satisfaction, it's exquisite. From the mid-80s, for a period of about 10 years, I worked every day with a life model. And that was something that I did deliberately. I wanted to immerse myself in that and study the human figure. And what that actually led to was me moving away from working directly from life. The paintings I was making were much more about what I was thinking rather than just what I was seeing. Although in these paintings, the body is not explicitly represented, it's still echoed in the landscape of the cloth. So for me, the paintings are about an absent presence because you are taking away something, in this instance, the fabric from its original narrative which is normally used as a support for the figure. Looking for me is something which is as big a part, if not a bigger part of painting than painting itself. It almost overrides everything. Most artists spend a great deal of their life editing the world and, and contemplating it. And for me, it's a way of trying to work out where you fit in and, and trying to make some sort of order of the chaos of what's around you.